Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build the Flame Aura. Okay, now this is not a end game build by any means, right? This is going to be near enough like a beginner's guide, right, to the Flame Aura. So, yeah, let's begin, right? Now, the Flame Aura is an amazing, amazing tower. Okay, now it can hit. It's I'm not 100% sure, right? But I'm pretty sure it's eight enemies at a time, okay? Like, within this aura. And that is amazing, right? Compared to, let's say, the single target cannon tower, right? That's amazing. So, right, now we've got this. Let's say you've run through the campaign, you know, you've got some stuff on it, okay? But, you know, you've just run through campaign. Let's say you're pushing level 50, so you're going to be getting your ascension soon, Okay, so with your ascension, let's just go into this tab here. Right, now this is all of your ascension, right? Now you've got offense, defense, and utility, okay? Now the offense doesn't really count towards your towers, that's more for the character itself, okay? Now the defense, when you level up, right, you will get one point in offense, and then the next time you level up, one in defense, one in utility, okay? And that will just keep going and going and going right and most people straight away will try and throw their points straight into their damage okay now for me you can but it's not right <laughs> okay now for me you need to throw them straight into the defense speed okay because you need to bring that attack rate down to as you know to go as quick as it can so at the minute it's attacking at 1.25 seconds okay so let's say for instance you've got a relic on but, I don't know, let's go with this one, right? It's got no, it hasn't got a um, uh, a defense rate servo in it, okay? So, let's equip that. And as you can see, the damage has gone up, but the attack rate has not, right? And this will majorly affect the DPS, okay? Because it's not hitting that quickly. So, we go into the ascension, and we put the first 20 points that we get, obviously, you know, one skill point at a time and they all go into your defense speed okay now this thing will be hitting at 0.81 right which is a lot better than it was and as you can see the dps has shot up a lot because it's attacking a lot more right so the eight enemies that will be in here are all getting hit every 0.81 of a second right now there are a couple of ways you can bring this down to its cap which is 0.31 seconds right so that's hitting three times just over three times a second okay and what you can do is you can use the defense rate okay now this one is gilded a gilded defense rate how you do that is you need 11 defense rates okay you need one that's full and then you need to sort of merge the other 10 with it and it will gild it to give you extra levels right a gilded defense rate will bring the defense rate of it the attack rate straight away down to its minimum right so it will straight away look at 0 0.31 and the other way you can do this is with a perfect defense rate mod okay like so right uh, defense rate servo okay so yeah there's a couple of ways you can bring it down okay but primarily when you're building it when you're doing your ascension, you know, you're just building it straight away. You've just completed campaign. You want to go straight into your speed, right? And this is the same for all of your defenses, apart from your blockades, because if you're just using them to tank damage, they don't need to be quick, right? <laughs> because most of them have little effects, like the uh, uh, spy blockade, the spikes will shoot out, right? But, yeah. So, yeah, that's where you want to be at first, right? Now... Once you've done that, you can feel free to put all the points you've got or get there for after straight into the damage, okay? And as you can see now, that's a lot better. <laughs> it's looking a lot healthier. So, the third tree that you have got is your utility tree, okay? And in here, you have the defense crit chance and the defense crit damage, okay? Now, these two, you really want to do up, right? Because... Again, you can see the DPS has increased because the critical hit chance has increased and the damage that it does when it critical hits has gone up, okay? And 
in the utility tree, you have the range gambit. Okay, now this is very important because it's a trade-off. So what you do is you trade a bit of power for a bit of range. Okay, now the bigger the aura, in my opinion, the better because you know, it's just it's it's a lot more beneficial. So let's say we pit into that and we have lost barely any DPS, but the range has increased a lot. Okay, so what you're aiming for with your flame auras are you want them to be quick. So first things you want to do when you go into your ascension is pit those first lots of points into speed, then damage, and then you want to get, for me personally, it would probably be the defense crit chance, damage, and then your range gambit. Okay, because you might find, you know, a servo with, well, a servo, a relic with a range servo on it. Okay, so let's see if I actually have one. I'm pretty sure I have somewhere uh, might be over here aha defense range okay now as you can see the range of that has just <laughs> you know shot up tenfold and because of the defense rate it's still right down there okay so yes the first shard you come across as well right because your defense rate you don't get until chaos 4 but you do get your destruction at chaos one and then you get deadly strikes at chaos three okay now deadly strikes increases the range again once again this is gilded okay <laughs> because yeah that's just where i'm at and yeah as you can see that range absolutely ridiculous right <laughs> so yeah you could get more than eight enemies in here i'm pretty sure it's eight it might be ten right but yeah they'll walk in get damage but they're taking damage from here right from the second they walk in not from here so by the time they get here with a small aura they can walk in and out okay so defense well yeah you want your attack speed you want your attack rate as low as it can go your defense range and your defense power okay as the first enemy you come across in chaos is the vanguards okay frontal deflective specialists they car you know Cannon towers, PDTs, they're not really effective. This thing is awesome for everything. <laughs> it really is pretty good. Now, there are a lot of different servos in this game. Okay, now, this is what I run now, right? I've run it for quite a while. I have sort of, you know, I've uh, experimented. And this is what works best for me, all right? But in terms of your servos, it's just what works best for you. Right, so I've got anti-chaos servo because you're gaining at chaos seven, you're gaining 56.13% extra damage to chaos enemies, right? And there's seven chaos enemies. So if you find one of these, you know, it's worthwhile throwing it on. If it's already on your relic or if it's on another relic and you can tinker it over, that's a winner winner, right? And the anti-melee, because the majority of the enemies in this game are melee troops, right? So it only makes sense to have an anti-melee survey on there. And then I run power survey just to get a bit more out of it. But you know, again, the builds are entirely to the person. I mean, sometimes I've run this on it just for the tenacity, <laughs> you know, just because I can throw them straight up the front and not worry about it okay and that one doesn't really matter so yeah guys that is how to build your flame orders <laughs> i really hope you've all enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and i will see you all in the next one peace out guys